Creating presentations can be time-consuming, especially if you're juggling deadlines as a content creator, a freelancer, a student, or a teacher. So, I started looking for tools that could help simplify the presentation-making process. And that's when I found Gemma, an AI-powered presentation tool that helps turn uploaded notes or prompts into a structured presentation that you can then customize. Hi, I'm Shala. In this video, I'm partnering with Gemma to walk you through how it works and to show you how you can create a full presentation step by step. First, head over to Gemma.app and I will include the link in the description for reference. Right on the homepage, you will see a start for free button. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for free by clicking that button. Right away, you will see four different ways you can create a presentation depending on what you already have. You can start with a prompt, paste in your notes, import an existing document, or customize one of the templates. For this example, let's start with the generate option where we use a prompt to create a presentation. At the top, you will see that Gamma lets you choose what type of content you want to create. You can generate a presentation, a web page, a document, or even a social media post. This is useful if you create different types of content and want everything in one workspace. For example, I'll select presentation. Here you can set the number of cards. And by the way, cards are basically the slides in a presentation. You can also set Set the aspect ratio and the language you want to use. Next, we will enter our prompt. All you need to do is describe the topic. So I'm going to create a simple guide on how to start content creation. Then click generate outline and let's see what Gamma creates. Alright, Gamma has generated an outline with 10 cards. This becomes the starting structure of your presentation and you can fully edit it. If you want to change any text, you just click directly on a card and then type. For example, I want to update the title on this first card. So I'll select it and replace it with my own wording. If you click the three dots on the side, you can also delete a card or merge it with another one. Now, if we scroll down, you will see the options to customize the look and feel of the presentation. For text length, I will choose concise. This gives a nice balance between visuals and readable text. Below that, you will see different themes. So if you click view more, you will get access to more design styles. I'm going to choose the prism theme. On the right side, Gamma shows a live preview of how the theme looks. I like this one because it's clean and it fits my brand colors, so I will continue with it. Next, Gamma lets you choose where your images come from stock photos, AI images, illustrations, or animated GIFs. For this example, I will select AI images. So you can choose the image model. I will try Nano Banana Pro, but feel free to explore other options. For the art style, I will choose photorealistic. You can add extra keywords for consistency, but I will leave it as is for now. Now let's click generate. You will see Gamma start designing the full presentation. And here's the result. Gamma has created a complete presentation layout, but of course, this is where your input still matters. I always recommend reviewing the content and adjusting it to match your own voice and branding. So far, the structure looks solid, the visuals support the topic of each slide, and the content is organized in a clear step-by-step -step way. You will also notice that Gamma automatically uses different layouts, which helps separate ideas and makes the presentation easier to follow. On the left side, you will see all the cards or slides listed out. This makes it easy to jump to a specific slide instead of scrolling through the entire presentation. I will click on the first card so we can start customizing it. So the title card already looks good but I want to add a short subtitle to give a bit more context. On the right side, I'll open the basic blocks. Under the text block, I will select heading 4 and drag it below the title. Now I can type in a subtitle. And if you want, you can also add your name at the bottom for branding. This image actually works really well because it clearly represents the essentials of a content creator. Everything here supports the topic of the slide, so I'm happy with how this looks and I'll keep it as is. If you ever feel like something is missing, you can easily add another card. For example, I want to add an overview of the topics, so I will click the AI icon and describe the card I want to create. And just like that, Gemma generates a new card with a topic list. If you want to change the layout, click the three dots, choose change layout, and select the one you prefer. You can also remove any unnecessary images by clicking them and selecting the trash icon. 
Now let's move on to the next slide. This image represents social media content but I want to enhance it a bit. I will click the image then open the AI agent. Here you will see options like remove background, upscale, vectorize, or animate. I will choose animate and then you will see a chat box appear on the right while the changes are applied. Wow, now that image has subtle movement which looks great. If you want more changes, you can continue chatting with the AI here. One thing I like is that Gemma includes a headline for each card. This helps viewer quickly understand what each slide is about. I will remove a few words here to keep the message clear. I also want to adjust this description so my audience better understands what a niche is. So I will ask a I to refine the explanation, then review the result. Now, this version is clearer and easier to follow. At the bottom, there's a Venn diagram that helps visualize how to choose a niche. I want to add a bit more explanation for the skill and the sweet spot sections, so I will add two more layouts and update the headings. Under essential tools for content creation, I want to include gamma for presentations. I will type that in and then update the image so it stays visually consistent. I will ask AI to add the gamma up to the phone screen and now it matches the content on the slide on this card we have a cutesy flower layout that works well for illustrating content planning on the next card i think the image could use a small improvement so i will ask the ai to generate a new image that represents content creator we'll give it a moment to generate and here's the result the image fits the topic nicely and visually supports the idea of content creation so i will use this one instead aside from ai edits gamma also gives you full manual control on the right panel you can insert text tables lists images layouts like columns and boxes diagrams charts and graphs you can even embed YouTube videos. For example, if I want to add a YouTube video that explains a topic further, I will drag the YouTube button on the card, paste the video link, and it appears directly on the card. You can also add buttons and forms. This is so useful if you want to link to your website and social media. Just drag the button on the card, paste the link, and customize the call to action. So now I'm done modifying this presentation. Everything looks organized, easy to follow, and aligned with the topic, which means we're ready to move to present it go to the top right corner and click the present button from here click the arrow and choose full screen you can move through the presentation using the arrow keys on your keyboard you will also notice smooth animations on the text and images which help make the slides feel more dynamic while presenting other than presenting we can also share this presentation to others to exit presentation mode just press the escape key now let's go back to the top and click share here you have a few options you can invite collaborators by entering their email address or you can generate a shareable link if you click this arrow here you can set what people with the link are allowed to do whether they can can view comment or edit the presentation so once that's set you can copy the link and share it with others you can also export your presentation in different formats gamma allows you to export as pdf powerpoint google slides or pngs you can choose to export all cards or just specific ones depending on what you need there's also an option here to embed your presentation on a website using a snippet another helpful feature is analytics here you can see how many views your presentation gets and how people interact with the cards this is so useful if you're sharing presentations with a team students or an audience you also have the option to turn your presentation into a website to do that click publish to site then select convert to site and click publish under domains you can edit the domain name by clicking the three dots then selecting edit domain and saving your changes if you want you can also connect a custom domain either by buying a new one or transferring a domain you already own and there you go the presentation is now live as a website you can share this link with your audience so that they can view it directly online now let's create another presentation using the import file option to start a new presentation, click the home icon. This takes you back to your main workspace where you can see all the gammas or the presentations you've created so far. From here, click create new. Now let's create another presentation using the import file option. This is especially useful if you already have your content written out like educators, course creators, or freelancers who are working from notes or documents. I will choose upload a file since my notes are saved in a word document this file is about parts of the cell so after uploading it 
I will choose presentation and click continue. From here, we can adjust a few settings before generating anything. For the text structure, I will select condense and for the amount of text, I will choose concise. You can also choose the language you'd like to use here. Next, let's pick a theme. For this example, I will go with finesse. For images, I will choose AI images, then select Nano Banana Pro as the image model. For the image style, I will select photorealistic, but you can also explore illustration, abstract, or 3D styles. You will see two layout options, the freeform where AI organizes your content into cards automatically, or card by card where you control exactly what goes on each slide. For now, I will choose freeform, then click generate. You will see Gemma start organizing the content from the file into a presentation layout. And now we have a clean, well-structured presentation based on the parts of the cell notes. I really like the design of this one. From here, you can review and edit the presentation just like what we did with the first example. You can also present, share, or export it using the same options we covered earlier. What I appreciate about Gemma is how it helps in turning notes or a prompt into a structured presentation that you can then review and customize. It also helps you create different types of content in one place, which is really helpful if you're switching between formats. Back when I was in college, I spent a lot of time manually preparing slides for reports. And now, as a content creator, I need one central tool where I can create different types of content. So having a tool like Gemma makes the process more manageable. So if you want to explore Gamma for yourself, I will leave the link in the description so you can check it out. And if you'd like to learn more about digital tools like this, I'll link a playlist here that you can watch next. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.